Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today, looking at Archicore, we have Wolf Jerry or Guri and Half Dan or Half Dan sounds better. I like Half Dan, sounds like a warrior's name. Half Dan the Mighty, not Half Dan. Okay, this looks pretty cool. And he can ride that wolf into combat, which is on the back, and the wolf can transform into a big claw for the frost light transforming robot. Who I will stick up here, I think, for you guys who haven't seen that review yet. And the frost light is fantastic, but I wish it was just a robot or just a truck, not a transforming one. Anyway, this looks pretty cool. I will be opening this up and having a play, and we'll see what it's like. So let me open this, turn the camera around, and let's get into this review. Okay, here he is with everything he comes with. So he comes with three extra pairs of hands. So we have hands like this with the thumbs sticking up. Let's get a focus. There we go. We have pointing hands here and here. And then we have the thumbs up hitching a ride hand as well. Uh, and then we have connectors, weapons, etc. Now, interestingly, in the uh, list of contents or the, what's the word? Not itinerary, can't the word. Um, here, it doesn't include these two little pieces here, which are connectors so just notice that so you're thinking where's the wolf well actually the wolf is also a car which transforms into it looks like the fist of the frost light and also the obviously the wolf motor what's nice about this one is we get english this time so now i know what the enemies are called the enemies are xeno beats so i'm hoping to see them sometimes so if i focus on this you guys who don't read whichever language that is, Japanese maybe or Chinese, you can read this, you can pause the video and you can read this here. Dong. Okay, very, very nice looking. So first thing I'll do is I'll have a quick look at the accessories and then we'll look at um, Haufdan and then I will uh, pause and transform. We'll see what he's like in this car, pause and transform into the next mode and pause and transform into the next mode and go from there so this is his rather big axe this is a new weapon you've not seen this one before looks rather menacing give an idea of scale it is almost as big as he is uh, these grenades we've seen before these connectors don't know what these are for yet i think this is just to attach something at a different angle it looks like this one's definitely new. This is definitely new too. Nice holster though. And then I don't think we've seen the horn before. Have we seen this before? I think this drinking horn or sounding horn is new too, not sure. The pistol we saw before, we saw that with with um is it Orn Lodbrook? I've got them over here because I'll do a comparison in a second. Orn Lodbrook, yeah. And then this is obviously new too. Which looks like some sort of huge, yes, a huge gun. Which I'm assuming is not for him. Oh, looks like it's him or the wolf on the box. You can't see that on the top there. You can see it. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's look at our figure. I love these figures. They got their articulation is amazing for their size. Uh, you want to know how big they are? First of all, let me stick them over here. I've got a 118 scale fig here. Bear in mind these um, Archicore are 135 scale. You can see it says there. So basically it's about half size of a 180 scale. Or just under half size of a 118 scale. But yet the articulation is often better than many bigger scaled figures. So head, left, right, side, side, up, down. Shoulders, if he's not got his cloak in the way, his arms will go all the way around. His cloak's there. You can take the cloak off if you want. Take this piece off and then this piece. Then the cloak and the backpack. In fact, I can just take it all off now if I want it to, but I won't. Um, to the sides, a bit stiff, but they're very, very strong. Even with the armour, look at that. Well over flat. Bicep bend, I'll do it this way so the armour doesn't get in the way. Again, well over 90 degrees. Hand turns stiff and is also on a barbell joint. So you get articulation in every direction. 
Um, cloak has a tickulation. This backpack has a tickulation. The cloak has a tickulation. So we can pose him in many different poses. Like the winds blowing his cloak and whatnot. Now, disappointingly, he doesn't come with a base. Like Orn Lodbrok does. And Orn Lodbrok's base has a flight stand. And we'll see that again in a minute. Okay, so he has trunk forwards backwards side to side and turn and he can turn from the waist as well it looks like is that the same turn yeah so he can turn from the waist as well legs approach yeah four splits pretty much amazing forwards backwards again is is going to be pretty much a forward splits he has a very tight knee bend well over 90 degrees he has a no boot turn but it is a thigh turn he has swivel side to side he has a very decent tippy toe get his legs straight considering his bulk and he has a very nice tee -hee dorsiflexation dying as well so amazing articulation again for the size i love these figures so much they've actually got none armored figures being shown i'm waiting for those to come out too now i am um, i said in a few videos back that i'm gonna be all in on this and i'm not a hundred percent sure now and that's because of the uh frost light i really wish it was just a robot or just a truck not a transformer because you could have made an you could have made is a great robot and the truck's okay but you could have had an amazing truck and an amazing robot if it was either or okay maybe i'm being too picky and i'll do live transformers okay this is the wolf in its car mode you can see the face down there nice spin on the free wheel on all the wheels any features on this that i can see not the moment seems easy to transform you can see the legs there um i'm guessing he would sit there somehow let's see if i can pose him that's a bit wide for him to sit on in a natural looking position to have a quick pose and see i guess he'd stand up on it or something um let me stick him there and what i'll do i'll quickly pause this construct consult the instructions and come back in an instant Okay, no, he can't sit on that. And actually, the car is this way, not the other way around. In fact, it makes more sense. You see the intake, you see the the windscreen. But he can't fit inside it either. That's just the mechanism for the transforming underneath this part here. Looks looks nice, and it does free wheel quite nicely, but I would not use it like that. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will quickly pose him with his weapon, uh, with his little... Where's his axe? His axe gone here. And how does this fit on? This must go to his back underneath. Yeah. Like this, I'm assuming. Yep, it's got the key. There we go. And you can see there that you can put his pistol in there if you want to. Ooh, that cloak is getting in the way. Let me just take this off quickly first. There we go. So you can put his pistol in there if you want to. It's a nice fit. And then if you want, you've got these clips. You can put his horn. Somehow, I'm not sure how his horn's going to fit in there because it's so big. Too big for that. You can put his grenade in there if you clip it on as well. There we go. And you have another clip. Uh, actually, the horn can fit. It's got this little recess there. So you can fit the horn in as well. It should be... Uh, that was so close. We'll try around. It should be that way. We'll do it back this way instead. There we go. So we can have everything on him. But if you put his cloak on, that now becomes slightly more difficult to access. So, he's now uh, equipped up. I'll give him his, uh, 
is X, which he should hold very easily. Uh, the fingers do have some give, which does help to put in his things in, and the thumb as well. He holds that very, very well. Let's get a semi combat pose in. You could just paint these up to be your 40k marines and they'll just fit perfectly into a games workshop army with their scale and so forth. So if I put him over here, then I get on Lodbrock on his uh, stand jumping. You can even kind of see him fully. Let me stick him over here. And then you can see how they look together. Great looking figures. I just wish that that our friend Health Dan here came with a base with posing stand like Orn Lodbrook. Apparently he is the commander of this guy. Okay, let's just put him back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to pause the camera and I'm going to work out how to make this into the uh, fist part for the frost light and then after that I'll go into wolf mode. So back in an instant for you guys. Okay, obviously I've gone into wolf mode first because that was 13 instructions so it makes it a, <laughs> a lot easier and it appears to transform from wolf mode into like the uh, the big fist thing for the frost light. So that was a quite an easy transformation. Uh, really some nice features like the seat does pop down which is nice the gun you can see attaches there also there's a attachment to attach the gun to here so he can actually use this huge great big gun without the uh, wolf I will be tempted to take that long barrel off that's just ridiculously long that's like twice as long as him as like a chap may weapon um, looks pretty cool so some things some features so Head has articulation, it can come forwards with the neck and by itself and side to side. The legs move, but these are quite loose, these shoulders, so that's one issue. You do have a bend at the shoulder and there is another one at the foot and the ankle. So there's good articulation and they do move outwards as well. So you can get very good movement on that and it's the same on the back, outwards, forwards, backwards. There's a hinge at the shoulder, there's one at the ankle, and another one by the foot. Um, there's no waist twist, the tail will move up and down, or from here, and even individually with the blades on the tail. So it is a pretty nice looking figure, I have to say, it looks pretty nice. And then the nice thing is with the two handles, one you clip this gun on, the other one is free for him. So if I just take his axe out of his hand, he should be able to, in theory, sit on that and possibly even hold the handle. Um, though I haven't tried yet. Let's get his cloak going backwards. I have to take out his uh, horn and his grenade because they might get in the way when he's in the seating position. We will see. Just pre-pose him. Okay, that looks like it might do it. Let's have a look. Bit further apart on the legs. Okay, foot upright a little bit. Oops, and then he should be able to... Let's get his hand first, maybe. Okay, hand is on. He's sitting down. Not quite straight with the gun there. But, let's get his head up a little bit more. He is looking pretty damn good, it has to be said. very very nice this wolf mode I do like I think it does look pretty damn cool but again I'd rather have just the wolf 
and not the car or transform into something else. Again, this leg, this shoulder is just a bit too loose. I might have to pop it off and uh, tighten it. But other than that, this is fantastic looking. Okay, next I'm going to transform it into the, I think it's the right fist of the frost light or the right arm of the frost light sort of armor. And then we'll have a look at that and let's get into it. So back in an instant. Okay, that's transformed into the right arm of the frost light in its berserker mode. And that is an amazing piece of engineering. So you can see he's holding onto a handle here. He's actually not just holding on. His forearm clips into a groove in the uh, Wolf Gary, Wolf Jerry. And then he got these articulated fingers here, which look so good. And they move, you know, there's such good articulation with the bends and everything. This is phenomenally well thought out. Um, I'm about to take back what I said, I'm about to be all in again. To the other pieces to make this berserk mode, I don't think I'll ever transform into his truck mode. Uh, the wolf mode is nice, but I'll be tempted just to have this guy in his berserk mode and not use the wolf for the, the other guy. Unless I buy two, one to keep like this and one to keep in the uh, wolf mode. That looks fantastic. Look at that. It reminds me, I need to put the order in for the other new parts that were shown of Vague. See, he's, he's half falling over now because his arm's out. When the uh, next wolf comes, which is the other side... At least to be balanced out in terms of weight on the arms. Then you've got the leg parts, which are the ones in pre order now on PIA Club. I believe that is just phenomenal looking. You see, it just pops in there, and then you've got it all. His arm is so stiff. You've got it all put together. And me saying his arm is stiff is not a. Uh, complaint it is actually very good because this is very very heavy to have on his side here so having that on there just having that stiff joint just adds to the uh the whole thing's so going to fall over now because if the joints are loose he cannot hold his arm up like that that is phenomenal in fact the clip is coming out a little bit there we go that is so well done very very nice okay so there's one thing else i want to do very very quickly so i just reviewed the uh fresh retro industrial unit the other day and i just want to show you that i'm just gonna move across boop, 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 with these archicore figures now the fresh retro is made for 118 and smaller it doesn't work with your 112 Sort of G.I. Joe classified or Marvel Legends figures. You know, I did try that on the video if you saw, and they just look ridiculous. But if you've got a 135 skill Archie core, that barrier, which you can't even see now, is a decent height. His head is over it. If I stick him up the top here by these railings, the railings look a bit too big because he could just fall for that gap but that does actually work for him the ladder can work for him too so you could in theory get away using this and the stairs even work for him you could in theory get away using a fresh retro dio set for your archie core figures which is good to know so let me just do a little Set up, get my camera back down. Can we get everybody in the shot? Just about. Uh, I won't use the some the normal soldiers or the limited edition soldiers for this. I just use the two named characters. Uh, uh, Halfdan and uh, Orn Lodbrook. And I'll take his, uh, his stand off, just stand on his feet. You see, we've got a <laughs> fantastic looking lot of figures here. In fact, if you are rather immature, like I, I like to be, you can get the, uh, you can give someone the bird. Let them know that's what you think of them and their army. So you can see that the uh, wolf has a central rotation for the wrist as well. So well engineered. 
fantastic looking set. I think uh, they've really knocked this out of the park. Amazing stuff. Well worth getting. In fact, let me see if I can get his him to shoot. Can he hold this gun? God, that's so big. Does that come off? Not easily. Let me see if he can shoot this huge, ridiculous gun of his as well. Since he can do it as well. It doesn't have to be on the uh, wolf. Handle's a bit stiff there. He's in. He does a, a, a bipod if you want to put the uh, put it on something. But I think he's not going to hold it very nicely. His hand's a bit stiff to turn. That was his bicep turning. There, there we go. And he doesn't really have a empty open. Oh, he does. I don't want to swap his hands over. I'll just do the gun like this and lean his feet backwards. Awesome, awesome looking. Fantastic work. I think these are amazing. I like them because when you've got such a small scale, it's so easy to store stuff. And you've got this huge bloody frost like robot here. And also is it better for play sets, is better for vehicles, for scale and everything. Great, great stuff. Definitely worth putting the time and the investment into, if you ask me. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out and saying please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toys videos for you guys. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.